All right, so this is the uh, Craftsman 150cc. It's the M220 version model. I know there's a few that's around this um, price range or look. Um, this is one that I just picked up for sale at uh, Lowe's actually. Here's the price, okay? So you know that it's sold as is. They did offer to return it within 30 days. So, the issue with it that I'm going to get to is the self-driving is messed up. It's not messed up entirely as I'll dive down and try to figure it out. So, as of right now, uh, let me pull down on the uh, throttle. I'm just going to give it one quick tug. So that just proves that it was it is working. And I might be cutting in and out from the video, so I'm going to show basically what I'm going to do next, which is, which is pop open this to, to take a look at the, uh, uh, basically the self-driving or the driving feature. It's a front-wheel drive. It's a belt-driven design, so it's going to take a little bit of opening. And the issue that I discovered when I was looking at it at the store was that this cable, the uh, it's a special design cable. I can't really name the exact design of it, but it looks kind of like a mu mushroom if you think about it. If you were to put it right side up, and uh, it's it's gotten it's basically slipped off the. It's got this much slack. As you can see, as I tug it, you'll see this move. Watch. See, there you go. So it's pretty much got an issue where it slipped off, whatever it did. So I bought it knowing that. If this was just the issue, I should be able to fix it with these tools. So nothing special. So I'm going to start opening it up and and see what I can do and then see if I can fix it. And then if I do, then I got a good deal. All right. So to edit it, I added two more tools. This one was fine, but um, I needed something with the extension. So I just grabbed this. It's still number 10. I took out the two bolts on the side right here. Uh, boom boom and then these two thicker looking ones they're still number 10 they're actually underneath located like on each end underneath but uh, I just disconnected it for now I'm just working from the top though and I uh, used the star hex Torx took off the one bolt right here and I'm gonna keep the belt kind of intact right there while I uh, take a look at this uh, driving motor unit right here and see where the cable slippage came from okay so I, what I did was I I didn't show on video so I basically popped out this uh, cable in for this housing off the little uh, little handle right here that holds it and then uh, it's right there where my, my middle fingers are kind of tapping on and I slid it through this um, groove right here. So I'm gonna drop it back in and I'll, sh before I put this on, then I'll show you how it looks like. So I do need two hands with this, so. Okay, so I did it, it, it was real quick. Just slid it right in. As you can see, it does that to it. And before I hook everything back up, I'm gonna Put the camera in a standstill while I go up to the front and pull the cable. See if there's any slack. The slack should be kind of um, pulled in now because before it wasn't holding on to anything, like you recall from the beginning. So when I pulled the cable up here, it was there's no retraction, you know, because it's not it's not it's basically out out of place. So so that's one of the flaws with this um, unit that I noticed because this thing's plastic and I feel like it could slip off again. I'll try to do something to keep it on. So I'll try something in a moment. Okay, and now I'm gonna pull the cable. Okay, so as you saw right there, it was moving. So everything looks good. So, time to put it on and test out the drive feature. 
Okay, so in order to put it back on, it was real simple. Uh, like I said, everything's done off camera, but it's super simple. Just, uh, you know, if you remember what you saw earlier. Yeah, so that's what happened is you use, I had to use two hands. So one hand pulls this, uh, this uh, unit down while this just caps it off on top. And then you just put the bolt on. That should be it. All right, so it's pretty much on. And I'm um, gonna basically test it out real quick and see how it looks. All right, so this is test one. So I'm gonna pull down on the throttle. Use my hammer here. Pull it up to crank it on. Crank it to on. Okay, so as you just saw in the previous clip, the motor was on. I hit the uh, self-driving switch below. It was able to uh, spin these two front wheels. I even lifted it up the ground. You see it spun. That just shows that it's working now. So the only issue I would see is, or have is this thing slipping out in the future. As far as I know, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. And I'm gonna, I can use that epoxy or something to kind of glue the, the, the little cutouts so that way it keeps it on, but it's okay. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And uh, there's a little extra bonus I'll do at the end. So this will conclude the project. And I did end up using extra tools at the end. I ended up grabbing this one on top. And my allergy is kicking in pretty bad. So I gotta get going. So yeah, that's how you, this is like the hood. So that's how you, uh, you know, do it. It's on. And um, I'm gonna do something else and then that should be it. All right, so one last thing that I wanted to kind of do is uh, in order to prevent headache from just disposing the uh, grass out of the bag right here is to realign the cable. So the way I'm gonna do is, as you see, I'm gonna slowly, softly bend it along this. So I'm not gonna use this, that's for something else. So what I'm gonna do is use these zip ties, I'm gonna tie it together. So I'm gonna use the long ones because these are a little thicker than the black ones that I have to just zip tie it. And then like how it's zip tied right there from the factory. But I'm gonna do it with my own, so. All right, just like that. Just basically clipped it, clipped it, kind of turned it this way. Turn it this way for now. And uh, yeah, cause, because this cable, you know, it uh, blocks this. So then, now this is out of the way. So if you pull it out the bag, uh, there's a manual right there, but if you were to pull out the bag, then it can actually come out, you know, this way, or it can come out up here, you know, much better. So it yeah, works out pretty good. So a moment of truth before I bring it over is I'm going to do a quick cut. Okay, looks good. Did a good job.